Toxins and chemical pollutants are not only in our air, water, and soil, but those poisons can be present in our food supply, too. All the more reason to think about what we're eating and how we can eat smart, keeping our health in mind. Dr. Cass Ingram is author of the book, Foods That Cure, and he's here to join us now to talk about proper diet and lifestyle choices for National Nutrition Month. Hi, doctor. Hi, nice to be with you. You know, this book is basically California style. Garlic, onion, squash, everything you grow is in here. Broccoli. Uh, that's, so, that sounds you know, very that's... tasty. I like the sounds of that one. So talk about yeah. some of the toxins that can be found in our food supply, even baby food. Well, the biggest problem is is the pesticide herbicide residues. You know, the glyphosate's under a lot of pressure because it's associated with cancer. So you've got that, you've got arsenic, mercury, and heavy metals in the baby food. Boy, I tell you what, then the food additives that are specifically put in. On top of that, you have drug residues, antibiotic residues that are commonly in the food. And, you know, well, we pee and you know what, into this this waterway. And so that stuff ends up uh, in the in the food. Wow. Well, a lot of times we will see an organic label and we automatically think it's all good. But is that reality? Not necessarily. There was a scandal of a guy who was selling corn for I don't know how many, you know, two decades. And he was selling commercial corn as if it was organic and everybody put certified organic right on the label. So ideally you have a, an agency like MOSA. And you see, well, MOSA puts its little thing or the certified tilth group puts its thing in there. You see USDA organic, you see the certifying agency. When you see that, you're much more guaranteed than just the USDA alone. All right, so you need to look into it a little bit more. Which popular foods and beverages do you recommend that people stay away from because of toxicity concerns? The, well, the biggest one's going to be sugar, whether it's got chemicals what? in it, it just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sugar, corn syrup. GMOs are another one. Did you know that? No. Uh, if you just figured out what your GMOs are, your soy, your corn, your canola, your cottonseed, and your beet sugar, you got to figure that out. There's, they are now known to be carcinogens. Deep fried food, food with refined vegetable oils. These are, uh, these are big ones that we really should be excluding. And nitrated meats like ham and bacon with the nitrates in there and the pork. It's all of that goes out, and then we go shopping at the shopping cart for the goodies. Oh, my goodness. we load up on everything. Doctor, you're crossing uh -huh. so many things off of the grocery list. Let's talk about some of the good stuff that we can find in food. Yeah, you take that, that, that to your fruit. That help improve our health, your, yeah. What can, what, exactly, what your fruit, your organic berries, your, your vegetables, all your fresh stuff, and then your red sweet peppers, your squash, and your onions, your, your garlic, your, your grass-fed meat, your, all your fruits especially if you can get the organic kind. All right. Nuts those, and seeds and, yeah. Those are some good tips. And you mentioned um, some of the pesticides and maybe even fertilizer that can be on our fruits and vegetables. What's the best way to really clean them and make sure that they're going to be safe for consumption? Oh, well, I know a lot of us like the, the nutrients that are in the peel. So a lot of us kind of don't want to peel everything because that's one way you're going to reduce it by 50%. I use this stuff this spray and I'll take this and pour out a teaspoon or so into the water into the soaking water I'll spray the outside of an apple wipe it off and rinse it off and then you can use vinegar you can get that you know a whole jug of that combination of the two would be great so this is this a regular spray this is vinegar not the expensive vinegar the cheap stuff for washing <laughs> okay and when we talk about our anatomy, what, what we naturally have, what part of it is built to help us guard against some of the effects of toxins and how do we take care of it? Well, that's going to be your liver and also your lymph and your kidneys. Uh, boy, I tell you what, the way you take care of it is not to load those organs up with more and more toxins. You know, it, it, they have to work so hard to try to get out 20 years of stupidity. So what you do is you cut off the hose and you don't put any more junk in. You're going oh, to do man. the shopping you're going to go around and get the good whole foods. You're going to get organic. And if it's not organic, you're going to wash it or peel it. And you could maybe use this oregano spray, this vinegar combination. You will get off. This stuff is so good, it would strip oil. And it would strip, uh, even though it's made just from essential oils, it would strip ink off your shirt. Dr. Ingram, so you're making me feel way. so guilty for some of my food choices in the past 20 years. Well, you, 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 who's got the arms on the shopping cart? Right. Huh? So just yeah. pivot 
and, and you pivot to the organic aisle. You see that says organic. So you go there. If it's not there and you have to buy it, then you wash it real good or you peel it. All right. Well, then I'm heading out to the farmer's market next chance I get because of your advice. Yeah, know what you do at the farmer's market? You say, do you spray? Oh, okay. I support you then. And even if they're not organic, you buy their stuff. All right. Sounds good. It. Get more advice to eat clean by visiting CazIngram.com.